Hello and welcome to a very solo episode of All Out For You. It's episode six and I'm all by myself because Cam's away doing something super important. Uh, it's going to change everything. Um, it's going to make us millionaires. I have no idea what he's doing, but he isn't here. Uh, so instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to play this episode on my own completely. And Cam's going to play the next episode on his own. We're both going to play Fallout New Vegas as voted for by you guys on the straw poll. So thank you, by the way, for everyone who did that. Um, it was between Shelter and staying on with Fallout 3. But one thing we have carried over from Fallout 3 is our new character, Pip Fury, who I have remade. And I'm going to show her off in a sec. Uh, hopefully I did it right. I hope she's, she's all brawn and all fists as well. So it, basically the same character we had before. But what we've done is we've devised some kind of challenge. I can use melee attacks exclusively. I cannot use the HUD to keep an eye on my health and I must survive as long as possible. Uh, Fallout 4 is really, really nearby, so it's really not long until we're gonna be playing that. I've got some questions coming up at the end of the episode as well. All of your feedback is is so cool. I, I love reading all those questions. So I'm gonna, I picked about mm, seven or eight, I think. So we'll get to those at the end. First, it's time to reintroduce our character, Pip Fury. I've never played this game before. Uh, the HUD's already off, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I do, however, have the Vault 111 um, suit on. Thank you to the power of the old Oblivion-style system, the old floaty system. Pip Fury will not look at me. <laughs> Absolute denial. There she is. That's Pip Fury. She's looking younger than I thought I'd designed her. I, the actual um, character creation part is a little bit uh, clumsy. You're looking through what looks like a tiny mirror. Uh, also, the controls for uh, toggling the free camera are different to uh, Skyrim. For example, I can still punch the camera. Yippa! Pow! She's still furious. Don't be fooled by her calm complexion. Um, Unchiseled and unwrinkled brow. Uh, she's seen war. When I played Fallout 3, I went right and... Uh, it took me straight to Megaton and uh, blew it up. Maybe I should go left. Uh, let me first, though, go and take a look at the mod that was recommended last week. I'm going to collect everything that's in it. Uh, just not going to quite use it yet because it does kind of break the rules of the challenge. But let's have a look. Oh, yeah, my HUD's off. Tappy, tappy, tappy. Come on, come on. Well, I took something. Uh, but what I have left is the anti-everything rifle and God's fist. Damage is 5,043. Damage per second, 3,600 and something. That's... and 31. That is insane. Well, I mean, technically it does fall under the category of a melee weapon, so I could use it in this playthrough. Mini nuke launcher. Damage... okay, well, that's much less. And this is breaking the rules a little bit. This is more... This is for me, you know, this is experimentational sort of purposes. Um, I don't know if there's anyone here who can... Oh dear. Well... Um... <laughs> I've lost a leg and I died. There's no sprint. There's no sprint. There's just zoom out and run. So I guess what you can say then is the mini nuke, nuke launcher can be our exploding chickens for the episode. I'll save that one again for the end. Have I got anything useful? Binoculars, great. Uh, knife. Ooh, machete. All right, machete. I'm allowed a machete. That's it. Uh, no healing. Must stay alive for as long as humanly possible. And hup. Kevin would not struggle with this. You. Rolling thing. Howdy, partner. Howdy. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? That is because I am Pip Fury. Oh, I guess you saved my life. Uh, well, okay, well, how did you find me? I was me? out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. It's all that looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. They weren't eggs. Once they were people. Off, Keep out. Mmm, that's just the kind of terminology Pip Fury likes to make her not keep out of a thing. Before you venture deeper into the wasteland, you may revise your character. What? Why? 
No. Pip Fury for life. Pip Fury never looks back because Pip Fury has no neck. Ooh, first challenge of the wasteland. First challenge of the wasteland. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It brings up all my, um, brings up all my stats. All right. I think Vats is probably going to have to be out of the question. Um, so back it up. And ow, ow. Okay. Ow, okay. Get out! No way am I dead already! Ah, oh, Pip. The machete was terrible. The machete does nothing. Yeah, I guess Teach me how to not die. I died real quick. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Yeah, that's, that's basically, outside, that's the, the truth. Moon. Is this Ian? This is Lady Ian. I shall call you Iana. Drinking from the toilet. Pip Fury knows how to do this. Oh, Pip Fury does not use guns. <laughs> Take that bottle. Take that. And that. And... Oh, missed. And that. Okay. Am I ready? Can I not dual wield? Okay. Well, I've only died once, so I guess that can be chalked up to a win. Oh, God, save. So the reason the frame rate's a little all over the place is because uh, I've installed an ENB here. What are you? No. Okay. Well, I got something. Who knows what it was? But I got a thing. Yes! Yes! I have no HUD, so I don't know. Just drinking from the trough that the geckos were formerly in. Oh dear. Oh dear. Life went poorly for you. But bottle caps, cleaver, field hand outfit. That is a win all round. This is good, but I do feel like I'm still missing something. One hat. On we go! We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Oh, we're making okay. healing powder. I remember this from Fallout 2. Graveyard. Graveyard Schoolhouse, got it. Because I'm not allowed the HUD, let's just remember where we are. Oh God, oh God. I'm never gonna find her again. Well, at least I'm protected from this sun with the sweet hat. Where's the school? Keep your eyes peeled, folks. What looks schoolish? Ooh, feeling minor, minor school vibes here. Ow! <laughs> this is a terrible school! Actual grasshoppers almost ending my life. And now it's getting dark. Look at that sky. Look at that blocky. I feel like we're in the Truman Show. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I can't see anything. Out of the way. Oh, no. Why? Why have I got radiation poisoning? Can I hide? Look, I'll just hide behind you. Protect me. We'll be fine if we stick together. Is this the school? I don't remember this. Am I lost? No. Okay, I'm, I'm quite irradiated now. Can I wait? Let's wait. Let's wait an hour. Oh god, it's almost killed me! Oh, I'm really dead. Oh, I'm really dead. Up we get. Am I? How dead am I? I'm basically 100% dead. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm actually dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Note, sandstorm is death storm. It's a big storm filled with death. It's suddenly all gone eerily quiet. Like... Where do I go? Um, can I stay in your house? I'm staying in your house. I really feel like he should be inside by now. Big storm. Very big storm. Storm still going. And... I... am... okay? Doctor... <laughs> I didn't do well. In fact, I did terribly. Heal me. What? He didn't fix any of the radiation. Oh, I just gave you 50 caps. Suit yourself. Oh, yeah, great. Thanks. Thanks, Doc. You want to oh, sell yeah, anything? No. I'll sell you back the possessions I stole off you. I'm pretty sure this is your camera, but uh, you have it back. I don't even need it. Well, I'm a little upset to be selling this hand outfit so early, but... um. Oh, I'm naked. Oh, for God's sake. Got my jumpsuit. Got my hat. 
I basically got everything I need. People just come here and uh, sit in the graveyard and get smashed. It's what I used to do. Uh, plant, plant. Does anyone know what the plant looks like? I think I just got it. Was it that? You'll need a shovel to dig. Yeah, that's fine. I'm stealing the... I'm trying to steal the plants. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're not trying to exhume anyone. There we go. It's kind of a nice CNB, actually. It's um, not too hardcore, although it does seem to be chugging up our machine some. I don't really understand how that's possible when it seemed to run Skyrim really well. Um, yeah, you can kind of see the depth of field there. Yeah, you can totally see the depth of field. Nice. But we've not got any, like, high-res textures on or anything. <laughs> Glare through the machete. Yeah, these will do just fine. Oh, thank just God. Fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Thank you. I'm familiar with healing powder. I've had it many times. I'm rather fond. That was not worth it. That wasn't even slightly worth it for one thing of healing powder, which, by the way, I've already used. So I guess the travel onwards button means I'm ready to die regularly button. What what keeps happening? This place? Oh, no, 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 no. This can't be another sandstorm. Guys. Ow! Oh, what's LMB mean? Oh, I've broken arm and leg. <laughs> I think it's safe to presume that walking along train tracks is totally, totally safe and smart. And also, where are the Brahmin? There are only these, like, rammy things. Ow! Ow! Heck, ow! Hang on! Running, 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 running away. Not engaged in the fight. T come on! Come on! They weren't angry at me, they were angry because they had sand in their eyes. I'm sure it's fine. Ah, a fence. I don't even know what I've arrived at. Some kind of fenced off roller coaster? I genuinely think I might have only found a roller coaster. Uh oh, uh oh, ow, ow, running, 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 allergic to bullets. Okay. Use the old element of surprise. Ha-ha! <laughs> Come on. Yes! Ah, oh, that worked perp- Ah! Come on. Yes! Alright. That went well. I got loads of stuff off you. Someone's fighting. Are you fighting me? Yes, you are. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Spacesuit. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. Uh, come to me. Come to me. I'll wait here, or I can jump in. Ah, ah. Ah. Get up! Why are you crouching, you fool? Get Swing! Swing! <sighs> Level two! <sighs> Alright, I think we know exactly what we need. Melee weapons. Ooh, new hat! On. Everything the same, except for my fancy new hat. Let's go over here into the light. Okay, you can't really see the hat. Let's just assume the hat is great. Have I already cleared this place out? Aha. No! No, I have not! Ah. No! But the hat! <laughs> the hat did nothing! Well, I've decided that that's probably as far as I can realistically get. I think four deaths? Four deaths is probably not that bad. Um... Plus, I mean, I was not really allowed to keep an eye on my health. Uh, I was trying not to look when I was bringing up my Pip-Boy uh, to change apparel and everything. So, you know, I think for, especially, I haven't played this game before. And Cam um, claims he, he has completed it. So I'm expecting he'll probably do 
somewhat better than than I will. But yeah, anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, let's move on instead to some of the comments and questions that we had from last week's episode. So uh, the first one was from um, Reaper XY saying, "I'll be back when you're HD." So last week, um, last week I published our video, our Fallout for You, basically like as soon as it was up. So it it kind of, I guess, goes live while still processing. So it's going to go through 360, 480, 720, 720, 60, 1080, 1080, 60. Um, but in a twist of um, technology, I've tried to mix up the way we've recorded this. Um, I say we, like Cam was involved, um, the way I've recorded this. So instead of having 60 or 50 frames per second camera on me, Apparently that makes everyone feel weird and it's super ultra realistic. So I've recorded at 25, but the gameplay is now back up to 60, or at least wherever it was between 60. Up until now, I've been recording on a device that maxes out at 30 frames per second. But seeing as we're getting into the realms of, um, you know, Fallout 4, we're getting towards Fallout 4 at least, and we're playing New Vegas, and we've got mods on as well, I figured it's probably worth getting back up to 60. So I've swapped from our hard drive recorder to our Elgato 60. So hopefully you would have had at least, I checked at one point, we were at 48 frames per second. So maybe a little better at least. So uh, if you if it's not HD when you see it, it will be HD when you come back later. Guaranteed. All right, next one was from Cameron Arthur, who I think we had last week, um, who said, comment and subscribe. I'm so close to unsubbing for that but I won't. I would miss you guys too much. Which was quickly followed up uh, by Art of War saying, I unsubbed so hard that I circled round and I commented and subscribed again. I'm, I'm so sorry. If anyone, by the way, has a better suggestion of doing that horrible trope of saying, please comment, like, and subscribe, I am all ears. Because unfortunately, it is kind of necessary to, um, in order for us to sort of grow we kind of, I guess, got to about 20,000 subscribers and then the, the pace has slowed quite a lot. So I think we're, last I checked it was 22,000, which by the way, is awesome. Uh, especially if you compare that to our subscriber base on like Twitter or anything, we already have way more YouTube subscribers. So that's cool. We've got like, 300 Facebook followers or something like that. So 22,000 on YouTube is really, really cool, especially it's only been a few months and we've only done one series where we've actually given it like the dedication it deserves. Um, Witcher Mods, for example, has done really well. But again, that was immediately after Witcher just came out. So I think we're going to stick with, um, with Fallout for you, for the moment at least as well but also like all ears for all other games that you'd like to see. Anyway, next comment, next comment. Um, Man without a body says, Brahmin, the new cow. I am totally in for this. In fact, I was looking for Brahmin during that playthrough, hoping that I could maybe find and introduce our new cow. And plus, if I can use the console commands right, I'm probably able to rename one of the Brahmin to cow. If I, so, going back to Skyrim, there was a mod that we used to use all the time called um, Jackson's Renamer, uh, which let you rename any object or NPC, really anything that had a name, in the game. If that mod exists for Fallout, I'm absolutely using it. Plus, um, I would love to hear your thoughts on what mods you would like to see us do first in Fallout 4, because obviously there's going to be a big pile coming in real quick. I'm also going to try and make one as well. Haven't decided what yet, but I'm going to try. Next one from Z Thing saying, Was I the only one who disarmed the bomb? My friends also destroyed Megaton. Um, yeah, I, I think you might have been the only one. I, in my only playthrough of Fallout 3 before this last one, um, also destroyed Megaton. It's too good. It, like, and besides, it's just a little hub. You just go there, complete all the missions, and then blow it up may as well um and then lastly from zach real who says when fallout 4 comes out you guys should do a full walkthrough of the game 
Well, I guess that's kind of the intention, because you know mods aren't going to come out for ages afterwards. Well, at least a few months. So in order for us to keep up the the pace, I think it would be quite cool if we can complete the game, complete Fallout 4, before we get into the modding scene. Because, horrible, horrible spoiler, well, spoiler, but truth, um, I never actually finished Skyrim. I, I did uh, about 150 odd hours in my personal save before I got into doing Fallout, sorry, before I got into doing Top 5 Skyrim Mods of the Week. And then sort of dedicated all my focus to the GameSpot account and then never finished my save, which was on an Xbox. Um, so, yeah, I think it would be quite cool if we could play Fallout 4, finish Fallout 4, maybe even try and do some streams if you guys be interested in doing some streams, um, and then we can crack into modding Fallout 4 when the mods arrive with a completed game. Plus, there were so many times in Skyrim when you'd go to mod Skyrim and it would sort of it would require you to have already finished a particular part of the vanilla quest line otherwise it just simply wouldn't activate so I think it's probably going to be necessary to have a completed game at least so then you can always go back and do mods like new starting area with a whole new save so yes that what I was trying to say there was yes I think we will do that I think that's a really good idea I'm hoping that we um, we can get out a lot of Fallout 4 videos just at launch um, rather than just, you know, the one video that we've been doing so far if we can try and get quite a few out. That's at least the intention, so now you know. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in with me just on my own. Um, it's been interesting. I don't think I did as well as I hoped. Four deaths is pretty bad. Um, we'll see if Cam does better. And, um, oh, there's one thing I didn't do. Now I think you all know what I'm about to do here. Seeing as toggle free camera in uh, Fallout still allows you to attack, which it didn't in Skyrim. Um, I've got the mini nuke launcher from the God Pack, the God Weapons Pack. And I'm wondering if, uh, if I can just fire these straight up, will they come back down on me? Let's see what happens when I press and hold. Oh wait, that didn't work at all. It just aims it forwards again. Oh dear. Well, I killed a few people. Okay. So if we make that my trajectory, aiming down here. Okay, with a bit more of an upward trajectory. And... <laughs> Travel onward, please. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. Oh, it <laughs> we got so far. Okay, and now that important stuff's been done, it is time for me to say farewell. So thank you very much for tuning in just to watch me on my own. Uh, please leave a comment. Please subscribe. Please give the video a like. I won't use that horrible phrase from last week but um and please give us any feedback that you would like to for us to read out on the show any comments and questions for next week uh cam's gonna be playing on his own next week taking on the same challenge as me seeing if he can do a little bit better and then after that episode we're on to fallout 4 and it's then it's fallout 4 from here on out so i absolutely cannot wait to start playing it even more so i can't wait to start modding it um but that's still a, I guess two weeks away, but do check back in uh, next week to watch Cam taking on Pip Fury in the Mojave Desert all on his own. We'll see you then.